Chad, I feel a bit overdressed. We've got big, <laughs> good point. <laughs> big comfortable adventure bikes. Yeah. We're dressed like a couple of Power Rangers who are looking for the next track day. <laughs> well, they are the only bikes that we're going to drag race with our visors up. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. It's going to be very comfortable. So today is civilized, comfortable, heated grip drag racing. Yeah. We thought we'd get the current crop of big adventure bikes. The notable thing is the 1250 GS is about to be turned over to the R1300. So we're going to have to revisit for then. But yep. as things stand, we've got the Harley Pan America, KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, Ducati, Multistrada V4S, S. and the BMW R 1250 GS Ultimate Edition, Final Edition. Edition, T E Super, Hefter, Super Fancy. Super, with fog lights. Anyway, big, fast, comfy adventure bikes. It isn't that long ago that swapping from sports bike world to adventure bike world meant giving up on speed. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point, it, yeah. You know, in, in, in our riding lifetime, which is getting longer, but... You know, we they were, were air-cooled adventure bikes that were, were a bit slow. slow. And they were squishy. And there wasn't a performance element to them at all. And now we've got 180 <laughs> horsepower Ducati and 170... <laughs> sorry, 170 horsepower and 160. 60. I mean, that is bonkers. <laughs> it is but, absolutely insane. And luckily, they've both got radars, so we'll be all right. So you can't crash them. So we're going to get out onto the runway. We're going to fire straight into it with... Um, the two mid-Europeans, if you like, for, for want of a better way of pairing, and we're going to do KTM versus the BMW first. Then we're going to jump on to Ducati versus Harley and pick pick a winner from those four and then do a head-to-head. -head. See where it goes. Which one are you going for first? I'm going to ride... I'm going to go straight for the KTM because I love it. Okay, cool. You can have the Beamer. Heat your grips to maximum. <laughs> Let's go. All right, KTM versus BMW, Germany versus Austria. Don't give it away, a lot of horsepower. I made an absolute. <laughs> I thought I'd done you. I was like, where are you? <laughs> I had wheel spin, like, and then I missed the gear twice. <laughs> <laughs> the trick with the beamer is like, tickle the revs, get the clutch out, and then just drive it. And it just goes raw, bar, bar. It was lovely. Yeah. I, I just wheel spun, and then it hit the rev limiter, and I changed gear, and then I hit the next rev limiter. And then I missed the game. So is that a victory for me? Well, no, because I still won. No, but you did, yeah, but right at the very end. I'm the, the quarter mile I was ahead. Sure. I, I promise you. I promise you. I've just put my suspension up to as high as it'll go, so I get a bit more weight transfer. Because... Not uh, that you're taking it serious or anything. No, it's just for fun, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, let's go again. Like giving it all, oh, wheel spin, ah, ah. and I'm just like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> it's like age and sophistication, chimpanzee. <laughs> right, set, set. I'll see you at the finish line. Let me know when you get there. Oh, I'm sorry, there's some eerie silence. <laughs> did the old man in the wheelchair beat you? You did, you did, you did. <laughs> I'll have to hand that one to you. I was, I was sat here going, ring, 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 watching you puffing on your pipe as you wafted it's off into the distance. So, it's probably the easiest bike we've ever lodged. Really? Just three to 4,000 RPM, let the clutch out, hold the throttle to the stop, and the quick shifters, bar, bar, effortless, smooth, and I've got my visor up as I, I look see. in my mirror 
and see this KTM going like <laughs> <laughs> KTM's the winner. It's, it's faster. It's the fastest, but... But if you got 10 guys out of the car park to drag race... We'd win on that every time. Every damn time. And this is the old one. Imagine what the new one's going to be like. If the new one could be as fast as this, but as easy as that. Ooh. Ooh, wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, let but me here humiliate today, you again. What are we going to race next? Right, let's go and get on the Ducati and the Harley. And I'm going to see if I can do some more quarter mile wheel spins. Okay, you take the Harley, I'll take the Ducati. I'm feeling good. I got a lot of wheel spin. I remember you, you had to go on this early and said it wheel spins a lot, it's just torquey. It's got so much torque. It, it came off the line really well. Yeah. And then the minute I went a little bit further, it's went... Rah, 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 rah. I couldn't, like, I have to, like, I can't go to the stop like I did on the GS. I've got to, like... Meter it out. Yeah, just feather it through and feather it through. I think if I go any more, it'll spin in second or third. So just, not just, tickling it, yeah. but you're about 80%. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go a bit smoother this time and see if I can get this up the runway just, without spin. Just, just calm. Okay. Let's go again. Try again. I mean, this was always going to be the Ducatis race on paper. Considerably more power, lighter, considerably more expensive. To Just be a fair, bit. the torque and the, the the sort of punch of this is really impressive. I think if it was dry. I think this would be a lot closer. A lot closer. But at the moment, you just can't. It just breaks traction. It just. But the TC does work well. It does actually. It doesn't hold it back. On traction control, this does a better job than that. I think. That's pretty unusual, eh? Which is unusual. But it still didn't win. So, Multistrada versus KTM. Big European, stupid high power V twin adventure bikes. Let the wheel spins commence. <laughs> <laughs> That was telling. That was really telling. So off the line here, you definitely, I didn't get this off the line as well as you got that off the line again. But then it was just, that was definitely faster. Just creeping, creeping, creeping the whole length of the runway. You know, if this was quicker than that, I'd have been starting to claw you back once yeah, we got yeah, going, yeah. but it definitely was the other way around. But that third gear roll on. That was third gear, 30 mile an hour roll on. It just. And this disappeared away from just that. Just smoked it. Like, it was like, you, I thought you'd missed the gear or... I forgotten. had to look to make sure I was in third. I was in third, 100% gas. Which is interesting, because that's where, that's that's overtaking a car. That's firing out of a corner. Yeah, that's kind of big V-twin though, but it's V4. But, yeah. Right, let's go again. I'm going to put my traction control on my most sort of performance road traction control setting. Right. With I'll go full power, little TC. Full power, performance TC on that. And we'll, uh, that should be the first race, is who can set their bike up the quickest. <laughs> oh, mine's quite easy. Mode, scoring. Done, done. traction done. control. <laughs> Only because I sat and pre-programmed that earlier. <laughs> thanks to our sponsors that actually make these videos possible. 
um, RCL for bringing all these motorcycles here. There's a million motorbikes and I've only got a small van, so that made this day actually happen. And also to B-Moto for you know, sponsoring the show, supporting us and ensuring our race fans for bringing these motorbikes when we need to. Sponsors are good people, thank you. We've got a decision, we've got a winner. Got a clear winner. It was clear, to be fair. It is the one with the most horsepower. <laughs> and the less weight, and the V4 um, superbike engine in it. So it turns out you don't need to watch these videos, just become a keyboard warrior and look at the spec sheets. <laughs> but that doesn't tell you the whole story because the Multistrada won everything it entered and won all the races, except when we did roll-on tests. Yeah, so when we did the roll-on, it was almost embarrassing how much the KTM disappeared. Trounced it. Trounced the Ducati on roll and, and that's going, so we did one from 30 mile an hour in second gear, yep. third gear and fourth gear. And every time. And every time the KTM just disappeared. Yeah. And this, even, even full length of the runway, this wasn't starting to claw back. No, it wasn't even clawing back. It was just, the gap was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the other thing, when we did the full traction control mode, yeah, when we did full, so we had full power, full power. So KTM full power, Ducati full power, traction to minimum, but still traction. And we didn't warm up the tyres, we just relied on the traction and mechanical grip. And the KTM was much, much, much closer. It was really, really so, close. Interesting. In the dry, I think, obviously, you could use all the power of this to disappear. Yep. In the wet, I think, I think it's, in the real world, the KTM's quicker. Uh, it's closer. It's closer. It's closer. It's closer. It's closer. It's closer. But the other two surprises is the Harley, we really struggled to put the grip down. It was just spinning. But when it gripped, it was phenomenally good. When it gripped, it was good. And the traction uh, control was good when we did yes. a similar test. Yeah. And the Beamer was absolutely effortless. Yeah, it's always been known as a bit of a sofa of a bike, but just whatever grip there was, however much water there was, whatever the conditions were, whoever was on it, I reckon out of all of them, if you sat 20 people on all of them and drag raced them, the BMW would consistently be the quickest. Yeah, I think so. You could actually read a book whilst drag racing the, um, the GS <laughs> and still win. What would the book on a million one excuses why I didn't buy a KTM or a Ducati? Yeah. No, you're just looking at the accessories list for the new one. <laughs> there is that. But yeah, it, it, as I say, it, I mean, the Harley just needed more grip. The BM, the easiest. The KTM has got the mid-range, but the Ducati has got the overall. Oh, if you want the top trump, go to the pub. It's my bike which better one, than yours. Which one are you riding home from here? Oh, because the weather is really bleak and awful, uh, I'd probably take the GS. Really? Just because I just know how comfy and lovely and I've got 200 miles to do because I live in near Scotland. Yeah. But if I wanted one for six months... No, you, you don't. Multi strider. Six months, you'd have the multi. Six months multi. I'd still have KTM. I'd still have the That's KTM. That's because you like doing dirt things. I see, like, like the off-roadiness. And I'd just like a V-twin. No, I would like just the performance, the beauty and the looks of the multi. There we are. We're back to normal. We're not agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your Ducati. I'll have my KTM. But did I win? And you, you did win the most this okay. time. Just we'll did, see I you next time. I just, Chad's going to be racing a 125 against me on the GSXR 1000. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bike World. See you again. Cheers.